Hello, my name is Gordon and I'm here from Ramsey and Washington County Fix-It Clinics to show you how to fix an upright vacuum cleaner. So with these uh, typical upright vacuum cleaners, the problems we usually have are, is a broken belt. And the belt assembly is usually accessed from the bottom of the vacuum cleaner. And of course, one thing you always want to make sure is for safety reasons is make sure the, the vacuum is unplugged. And one way to check that, of course, is always is check the power switch to make sure it's actually unplugged. And then what we want to do is get into the bottom assembly. We remove the bottom plate. In this case, it's well marked with a couple of red pieces of plastic here so we can remove this bottom plate. And that gives us access to both the rotating brush and the belt assembly. And we get in here and of course what we usually find on these vacuums is they're pretty messy. So you want to maybe do this in a place like on the floor or even in your basement or someplace where you can expect to have a bit of a mess. So in this case the belt is is uh, running through this little assembly here and in this case if if the belt is torn or broken we're going to remove the whole assembly and we have to remove the the rotator brush to get in there to do that and then the belt is removed and then we put in our new belt in this case we picked up a belt usually at a vacuum cleaner repair store or uh, some of your major hardware stores will have those so one thing we find is is this this rotator brush, sometimes also called a beater brush, is it's covered with either things like yarn, string, lots of hair, and what we want to do is remove all of that. And I either use a pair of scissors or a utility knife and remove all of that as much as possible. And then other things to check along the way when you're doing this is you're going to want to check the, uh, the intake for the vacuum. So a lot of times what happens is, is things like safety pins, hairpins, uh, even pine needles if you've got like a Christmas tree or something in the home, those will come in here and clog the intake. And in this case with this vacuum cleaner, it has a whole hose that takes it all the way up to the canister. Anywhere in that line, you can end up with um, obstructions. And so you'll want to uh, check for obstructions and remove those if you can. The other thing you'll want to check is make sure all the other parts in here are cleaned out. Like I say, this is kind of messy, but that's normal. <laughs> I mean, they're made to attract dust and suck up everything in your house. So you're going to have um, things all over the place. So this one's not too bad. Sometimes things can be really wrapped around there, but we remove all of that. It's not uncommon that we have string and thread and pet hair. So it's not for the squeamish always. <laughs> and the other thing to check on these is, which is why I have the oil here, is to make sure this, this brush assembly rotates nicely. You want to make sure that the, um, the bearings are still, you know, it rotates well. And sometimes you'll have to remove some string or hair out of that assembly. And then you may want to use a little bit of oil to make sure that's oiled. The one thing you may run into sometimes is if you have a smell of burnt rubber or burning smells, you'll want to check to make sure it's not the motor assembly. If it's the motor, that may take where you have to go to uh, actually take it to a vacuum repair place and have them replace the motor or buy a new vacuum. If, if it's more of this assembly, you may be able to uh, replace this beater brush or br uh, rotating brush assembly, or you can uh, just clean it up enough to oil it and put it back into service. And then we put our belt in this case, you want to make sure the brush is going in the right direction. In this case, it's on the on this this far side, and we'll put the brush assembly back in. Sometimes it's easier to put the put the belt on the motor connection first back here, make sure that's clean. Thread the belt underneath this assembly here. In this case, what I like to do is put it on the motor first, and then line these this brush assembly back up into the slots. There we go, goes right back in. Make sure it's lined up, make sure it rotates freely. It does, we don't even have to turn it on to check that. If you hear noises, you may want to check again, like you say for safety pins or things like that, or paper clips. 
And then with these, a lot of times there's little slots for this, this cover assembly to go back in. And it snaps down into place. Don't force it because being plastic, it could break. And we just slide these back and it looks like it's good. So, and we don't hear any noises. So I think we've completed cleaning out this vacuum cleaner. So, so then you can put it back into service and check it out and make sure it works. You can learn more about fixing everyday items at these websites.